morning, hot dogs. Happy Monday. After the pledge, science Olympiad, band performance, and more. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Big congrats to the hot dog band on an outstanding performance at the Veterans Day ceremony on Saturday. Here are some band members that did an amazing job at the Odd Region Band Sunday at Southmont High School. Luis Madera, Ty Mason, and Jace Crew. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Science Olympiad will be having a practice after school on Friday the 17th from 3 to 4 p.m. in Ms. Hammond's room, 149. Now sending it off to Mr. Doug. Thanks, Ingrid. Meet my owl, Benjamin. He's a pretty cool owl. My Colts got a massive win in Frankfurt yesterday, 10 to 6 over the Deflatriots. Love beating them. There will be a meeting for all returning football players not in a winter sport and anyone interested in playing football in 2024 in Coach Byers' room Tuesday, November 14th after school to go over the off-season schedule and weightlifting schedule. The Lady Hot Dogs hosted a very talented Western team on Friday evening for a JV half and a varsity game. In the JV half, the Lady Hot Dogs competed well and welcomed a new player in Rachel Garcia who played her first game. In, their, in only their second half of action this season, the JV Hot Dogs played hard defensively while getting multiple deflections and open looks on offense. The JV Hot Dogs ultimately ended up getting beat, but their improvement is something to be proud of. In the varsity game, the score simply did not reflect how enthusiastic and energetic the dogs' were, effort was. What continues to amaze people with this group of ladies is that no matter what is going on, they continue to compete, continue to play hard, and continue to strive to get better. Friday night saw the return of Daisy as she returned from injury. However, Friday night also saw the loss of Ella as she was out due to an injury sustained in their game versus Elwood. They continue to get players who stay after in practice to shoot and work on their game a couple of times per week, and they even had one player come in this morning to get extra shots up. Some highlights of the game were Cyra Flores with six rebounds, Ashley Vasquez Rivera with six deflections, and Vanessa Guardardo leading the dogs in assist. Tomorrow night, the Lady Hot Dogs play in their first conference game against North Montgomery at home in Case Arena. This game will be on Hot Dog Network with Aiden and I on the call again. Make sure you turn in, tune into the broadcast tomorrow. That wraps up sports. Now to my fellow Hoosier fan with the weather. Thank you, Mr. Hoosier. I'm here with Luffy. And last weekend, the weather was really nice for going out, especially Saturday. Last Saturday was Veterans Day. It's very nice to have a day to honor you as veterans. So on Saturday night, the Torrid meteor shower peaked, and there was an average of five meteors per hour. I personally saw three meteors, so that was awesome. The next peak for a meteor shower will be this Saturday, so I'll definitely remind you guys on Friday. So for today's weather, it will be a fresh sunny day with a high of 62 degrees, and a later tonight, we'll have a cold low of 30 degrees. There will be a light wind throughout the day, and that will be it for uh, weather. Now to Ella. Thanks, Anthony. For today's lunch and wines 1 and 2, we're having cheeseburgers. And for lunch 3 and 4, it's going to be biscuits and gravy. A special happy birthday goes out to Dennis Barkley, Diego Cruz Pozos, Giovanni Gonzalez, Kimberly Hernandez Gomez, Mackenzie Soto, and Kelsey Wampler. That's it for the morning announcement, dogs. I hope you guys have an amazing Monday.